All right, guys, so now let's talk about symbols, okay? So a symbol is a constant, and a constant means that you can't change the value of it, okay? So let's say, for example, if I come here and say car equals to, let's say, Honda, right? And then right below it, I say car equals to, uh, let's say, a BMW, right? So I could say double quotes, BMW, now when I say put car, then we save this, we run our code, say crystal playground.cr. You see that car is equal to BMW. But if I come here and I put in this, a colon on this, and I save this, let's see what happens. It's saying BMW no matter what. All right, guys, so now let's talk about arrays. Arrays are very important for every single language that you could think of, right? Some languages, they call it list, but luckily with Crystal, they called it an array, okay? So how do you create an array? You could create an array by just using the brackets, okay? And then within this brackets, you put in a list of data types. So like, let's say, for example, you could come here and put in number one, uh, two point, two point four, and then you separate each one of them with a comma, okay? And then you could come here and say, hey, this is a string. So you could say something like this, Joe, and then Johnny, okay? So this is how you create a array, but, Let's say you want to create an array, right? And put it inside of a variable. It's very easy. So you could just say list of uh, types. So let's say list of types. Okay. And then here, I'm going to say equals to this array. So now this list of types is going to be within this list of of different types that are inside of this array okay and how do you get access to each one of these so let's say if i wanted to print out joe the way i would do it is by putting in the index so let's say for example this is zero this is one this is two this is three always remember in arrays you always start with a zero Okay, even though you say one, two, three, four, there's four items in here. Always remember that you start from zero. So you say zero, one, two, three. Okay, so if I want to print Joe, I will say puts list of types, and then I will put in the number two. Okay, because that's the index. So now when I come here, and let me say clear now let me come here and say crystal playground as you can see it says joe all right now what's cool about crystal is that you could actually tell it what types are supposed to be within this array so you could come here and say hey this is supposed to be only strings so to do that you will say of and then here you will say string, okay? So because we have an integer and we also have a float number, we're gonna come here and you're gonna see this error. So it says, okay, array, a string, okay, no overload matches, pointer, string, the types in 32, overloads, okay, pointer, so it's giving us a, a issue, okay? So what we want to do is let's take this out and let's run it one more time to see what's going to give us. Okay. Index out of bounds. Okay. It might be an issue. Okay. That's because I'm over here trying to get to the second index, but that doesn't exist. There's only zero and one. So I'm going to put in one. Okay, and as you can see, it put Johnny. So 
so you guys can see we can actually tell it what type of uh you know what type of data is supposed to go inside of this this array okay and you could also come here and do something like this come back to what we have right and we'll put in hey this is supposed to be a strings and it could also be we're going to use the pipe so the pipe is right here right you put pipes and then from there you say the type of characters that you want to have in here right the type of data that you want to have so you could say this is supposed to be int 32 okay or float 64 let's see okay we're gonna run this crystal playground and as you can see it says joe so there's no issues okay if we would have just came in and left this out it would have gave us a problem it would have said hey no overload matches pointer in 32 and string with types of in 32 and float 64 so we're having a, a problem there okay and that's because uh, we have this float 64 and in reality we didn't declare we only declaring that hey this array is only supposed to have two types which is a string and a in 32 okay bring this back everything works perfectly again okay all right guys so this are arrays and i'll see you guys in the next video